27th, we are at Loveland Ski Resort in Colorado. Um, we normally have never been here on a weekday, but John was able to work the weekend, so he got today off, which has been pretty cool because there's like nobody out here. And I realized the ski season's almost over and we haven't documented any of this, so I figured why not make a video? We did get season passes back in the end of December or January, sometime around there. And the reason we picked Loveland compared to the other places is because one, it's like somewhat closer to us versus like Keystone, Vail, and all of those other ones. I want to say it's like an hour from our apartment. We live just outside of Denver, so that was a plus. You kind of just like pull in the parking lot and you get on the lift and you go versus the other big names like Keystone and Vail and all that. It's actually like a huge resort where, you know, in some areas you might have to take a shuttle to get to your ski lift, which isn't a bad thing, but for us, we just like to like pull up, get out and go kind of thing. <laughs> goes with the green blue and black it all just depends on the terrain obviously green is going to be your easiest um, blue is going to be a little more steep than green and it has moguls here and there and moguls are basically just like the big bumps in the snow that you kind of have to like weave in and out I personally don't like them just because I don't know the technique on navigating them the right way I don't know it just feels like a lot of legwork to me but and then you get to blacks and blacks are like super steep lots of moguls so yeah, John's done more blacks than I have. I think I did maybe one by accident, but as for the most part, we just try to stick to like blues and greens, mostly blues because it's a nice like medium. <laughs> his snowboard used off of a friend um, for super cheap and I rented through Christie Sports. I did the seasonal rental and I think it was like $200 for the whole season which is actually pretty good because per day it's like $40 um, and then if you were to just buy skis, skis themselves start at $700 and that doesn't even include, include like the boots or the binding so they can add up to be pretty pricey and what was cool about Christie Sports is that they gave you the option to go in there for free if you wanted to get your skis like tuned up or if you wanted to like upgrade to bigger skis. Mm -hmm. 